Hey guys, welcome to Learn and Enjoy Kitchen. I'm Azadeh and today we are going to cook a really delicious dish. But before we start, subscribe our channel and hit the bell to get informed of our latest videos as soon as they are uploaded. So let's go! The ingredients for kebab 150 grams of ground meat grated parsnip 100 grams, a medium onion, chickpea flour 1 tablespoon, salt, black pepper and turmeric. The ingredients for the sauce A glass of water, sugar 3 tablespoons, vinegar 3 tablespoons and brewed saffron a little. The ingredients for the rice Julian carrot 400 grams, rice 2 cups, raisin a cup, cinnamon powder 1 tablespoon, brewed saffron half a cup, and salt. To cook this dish, first we make the kebab. Add the ground meat grated parsnip and grated onion in a bowl. Grate the onion with a fine grater and take the onion juice thoroughly. It's better to take the juice of the parsnip as well. Now add some chickpea flour. some salt, some turmeric, and some black pepper. Thoroughly mix and knead the ingredients. Then add a little cinnamon powder to the mixture and knead it well again until they do not stick to the hand. Add some oil to the pan. Take small balls to the size of walnuts and shape them. Fry both sides of them in hot oil.
after the kebab is cooked, we are going to make the sauce. To make the sauce, pour a glass of water into a bowl and add a quarter cup of sugar to it. If you like it to have a sour, sweet taste, you can add 3 to 4 tablespoons of vinegar. Then, add a little saffron and whisk it well till the mixture is completely homogeneous. Now add the sauce to the pan, in that we made the kebab and boil it. When it's boiling, put the pieces of kebab in the sauce on low heat so that the kebab gets the taste of this delicious sauce. When the sauce is thick, you can put the pan aside and start cooking the rice. To cook the rice, we need 2 cups of rice, 400 grams of julienne carrots, 1 cup of raisin, salt, black pepper, cinnamon powder and half a cup of brewed saffron. First, peel the parsnips completely and julienne them. Put another pan on the stove and add some oil to it. And when it's warm, add the julienne parsnip and sauté slowly. Then add the sugar and stir till it melts and completely mixed with the parsnip. Now it's time to add the raisin and the cinnamon powder. When they're mixed well, add the brewed saffron. When you want to serve the dish, garnish the rice with this beautiful mixture. Bon appetit!
So this was today's recipe. I hope you cook this delicious dish and enjoy it. Please follow us on other social networks and recommend our channel to your friends. Till another delicious recipe. Goodbye.